He said uh, he just got word that his company said they're no longer going to pay for health insurance. Don't know what they're going to do. Well, you know, uh, for all of you out there who, and there's so many people who still are in that circumstance, and we'll talk about being deprived of your dignity, not being able to take care of your family if you don't have health insurance is, is I think, one of the most consequential things that can, that can happen to a person. And so, you know, uh, for all of you out there this year in budget process to over the parts of the federal budget, reducing overall government spending. But as recently as late last year, the White House has asked Congress for an additional $10 billion in crisis funds. The money never came through, and now the administration has agreed to give $27 billion back, including a significant portion of what remained in the fund for emergency preparedness and response. States are in the process of allocating money towards new programs. A guaranteed income program in Wisconsin issued its latest payment worth $500. The payments are put forward every single month and a lot of people receive them and receive the money they need. And the program as a whole was, will be the last one for one more year. This first payment was issued in September and the final payment will be sent in August. But even a household of two, for example, can make more than $36,000 and get the payments every single month. Now, some governors are backing a one-time tax rebate to put as much as 800 bucks in the pockets of the American people. And the governor told reporters a paycheck does not go as far as it did two years ago, and I'm working to give nearly a billion dollars back to the hands of hard-working, tax-paying Alabama residents. But applications for new guaranteed income programs in Massachusetts, for example, opened, with selected participants receiving monthly payments of up to $500. So folks, it's great to see that Joe Biden is actually doing something to help the American people. Which Since mid-2022, politicians have warned Americans and a growing number of tax people to be exact about this. And the IRS has said that it wants to hire new employees using funds from the $80 billion allocated to the Inflation Reduction Act. But according to several experts, the IRS does not plan to use all that funding for hiring purposes alone. As the New York Times pointed out, the IRS total number of full-time employees is 20% fewer than what the agency had in 2010. Even though the population has grown, to bolster its numbers, the agency plans to hire using a lot of money, with roughly $7,200 of those being hiring enforcement staff. This would add to the 5,000 phone personnel the agency hired before the 2023 tax season began. Increased funding to the agency would help it more experienced auditors who can handle complicated tax filings. It could help the agency close the annual gap between what is owed and what is collected. The agency has said that it wants to help taxpayers get the deductions and tax credits they deserve. Right now, the focus is on providing eligible and educational materials that break down deductions in plain language. So hopefully people can get their stimulus cash. Folks, we have a lot of news about the Ford Stimulus Check, Social Security Benefits, SSI, and SDI. Continue watching this video because you don't want to miss out on this. For the vast majority of Social Security beneficiaries, their monthly check is vital to their financial well-being. After 20 years of annual polling, it is found that no less than 80% of retirees rely on their Social Security benefits in some capacity to meet their monthly expenses. But with a U.S. debt limit and ceiling deadline looming, more than 66 million beneficiaries are wondering whether the Social Security checks will be on the shopping block. The debt ceiling represents the authorized borrowing limit for the federal government. It's important to keep in mind that it doesn't include borrowing for new spending or projects. Rather, it's to cover the federal debt limit and existing financial obligations. At no point in America's history has the federal government defaulted on its legal financial obligations, which is why the current debt limit impasse between Democrats and Republicans on Capitol Hill was turning heads. The expectation prior to this week is that Treasury lawmakers had perhaps two or three months. In that time, there were significant decreases in child poverty and food scarcity. Government data showed upticks in spending on necessities like clothing, utilities, and much more. Republicans in Congress and Joe Manchin have let it expire, everybody, according to Republicans. This year, the credit reverts to its pre-2021 structure, a non-refundable credit worth of $2,000 per child, ages 16 and under, that is. The Guardians received that when they file a tax turn next year, but the expanded child tax credit payments have been paused, even though they help many families stay afloat as inflation skyrocketed. Reports have found that millions of children have fallen back into poverty. States have stepped in to make up some of the difference, and Vermont joins nine other states in offering a state-level child tax credit in addition to California, Colorado, Idaho, New Mexico, and some other states. Additionally, North Carolina offers a child deduction rather than a credit, 
A Michigan state legislature has passed a credit for average cost of a gallon of gas hit $5.16 as of June 14th. This is the all-time record high price. And since many people cannot eliminate gasoline usage or even significantly cut down their fuel costs, these surging prices have hit hard. As a result, lawmakers are naturally considering ways to provide relief, including potentially sending out another stimulus payment. Proposals to help the public cope with gas prices exist at the federal level as well as in some states. One plan put forth on the federal level, for example, is called the Gas Rebate Act of 2022. It would, provide a re it would provide a monthly rebate during any month when the national average cost of gas is $4 or more. The rebate would last to the end of 2022 and would total $100 per adult and per dependent for single filers earning less than $75,000 or joint filers earning less than $108,000. It would phase out at higher income levels with single filers getting no rebate once their income topped $80,000 and married drunk fathers are losing the rebate with an income of $160,000 or higher. Now, state plans exist in certain locations because in early June, for example, North Carolina Democrats put forth a plan to send money to residents via check or debit card. The money would come in the form of a $200 rebate to North Carolina residents and would be available by October 1st to anyone who is 18 or over. Now, this is a bit different from the past stimulus checks that have come from the federal government because those were able to be deposited into people's bank accounts if they provided the information and while these payments would come in the form of a debit card or check only. So the child tax credit in 2022 will return to conditions offered by the IRS before the, American, before the American Rescue Plan expanded it. The amount of the credit is smaller, and eligibility is more restricted than last year. The rules, under the rules which were established through the 2017 Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, these changes will be in effect through the 2025-2025 fiscal year if no action is taken by Congress to modify the credit before then. A big change to help many families last year it was instead of receiving monthly installments on the credit they did from July to December of 2021, the money will be distributed in the form of a single tax credit, which will reduce the size of the recipient's tax bill or increase their tax refund. Taxpayers with eligible children will be able to claim a credit worth up to $2,000 per child, and this year the credit is partially refundable and there is an earnings threshold to be able to start claiming it up to be able to start claiming up to $1,400 portion, known as the additional child tax credit. Taxpayers who owe less in taxes than a refundable amount will have it added to their tax refund. The non-refundable portion will reduce taxes owed dollar for dollar. The 2022 child tax credit is available to parents with dependents under the age of 17 at the end of the year. December 31st, 2022, and who meets certain eligibility requirements. And under the credit, children ages 17 were eligible for the full amount of the much larger 2021 child tax credit. Many studies have linked the 12-month child tax credit expansion to a decrease in child poverty and first-hand accounts for those who received the payments occurred. Uh, who opposed me on that score. I do, I always, when people have a suggestion, I say, does it create jobs? Does it create jobs, does it, and does it reduce the deficit? The national debt, I mean, let's go bigger, the national debt. So uh, I, I'm, and, and we always were, and any of the proposals that we put forth, whether it was 3.5 or 1.75 or whatever it was, we always had uh, the thought that we would be reducing the national debt in all of that. And if you look at the history, it's under Democratic presidents that the national debt has been reduced. The deficit greatly reduced under President Biden. Uh, check that out. And um, uh, under President Clinton, we had PAYGO instituted for the first time in an overall presidency, a little bit under President George.